Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome to today's Pick A Card reading and it is his current thoughts, everyone's favourite. So I hope you're doing great today. Welcome to anyone new, welcome back to anyone returning. Remember it's a general reading and it's intuitive so some of the messages may not resonate, just take whatever does, leave what doesn't. For anyone who's a regular to my channel, this is a kind of update on his current thoughts. Um, for anyone new, this is possibly a general reading about the situation. Don't forget that this is his thoughts thoughts doesn't mean it's what he's going to do and it doesn't mean it's an accurate uh, an objective reflection of the situation okay so it is very specifically his thoughts okay and it's his thoughts kind of about you and the situation with you or, or you know romantic situation okay let's have a look his current thoughts hi group one how are you doing so his current thoughts would be knight of wands the sun Knight of Swords, Seven of Wands reversed, Flow and New Vitality. Flow is the um, Wheel of Fortune, New Vitality is the Ace of Wands. So we've got some blocked energy here around the Seven of Wands. There's some inability to pro make progress. You really could have some people, sorry, he really could have some people against him. Or he could feel like he's got a lot of people against him. Um, he feels like he needs some new energy coming in. Um, but he himself is kind of... This is a very... Um, <laughs> I want to say jangly energy. This is someone young or with a youthful spirit. This is someone who is a little bit... Um, uh, a little bit over enthusiastic but could be a little bit scattered the double night energy this is someone who's still trying to find themselves this is someone who's not sure what they're doing not entirely not regarding love this person might be uh, older could be very mature in lots of ways but regarding this situation this person is very full-on they're not necessarily thinking everything through they could be acting now thinking later they're not necessarily looking to settle down. They're not necessarily looking to um, to take things too seriously. For me, this person is looking for to... Um, it could be that this person is looking for only physical relations because the Ace of Wands is sometimes kind of quite phallic because in the traditional deck, it's the one rod, right? So, you know, I don't think you need any more explanation on that. Um, but it can be like that and it is it has got that energy because we've got the sun we've got the passion the knight of wands is the opening card this is often a bit of a player energy so this person kind of fancies themselves as someone who is full of fire the sun the knight of wands the seven of wands in reverse is kind of like a you know like um he feels like he needs to conquer everything he needs to um to uh fight against something this could be someone who's a little argumentative or someone who feels that they've got to fight for something but they might not mind that it's almost like he might like the challenge of that we've got the flow card here which is destiny um and and things going his way good luck on his side so he feels like Things are going his way and he, even if he's got to fight for it, he's going to get what he wants. And there's a lot of positivity, but not necessarily, it's not, I don't feel like it's romantic. It's more like fire and fun and feisty and I'll get what I want and I'm going to do what's right for me and things are going my way. He feels to be flowing, but it's not necessarily cutesy, cutesy and romantic. It's more full of fire and fun. So I hope this makes sense. Loads of love. I'll see you on the next reading or in a private reading. In the meantime, see you soon. Hi, group two. How are you doing? So his or her current thoughts. Seven of Swords, King of Swords in reverse. The Magician, the Empress. Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords. Double Ace here, very important. Seven of Swords opening card, very important. So it depends whether it's his or her current thoughts. This could be you, this could be them, or the other way around. The point is the female in the situation is very powerful. So this is probably you. 
The female in the situation is very powerful, um, is uh, kind of, I feel uh, the king of swords is the male in the situation and, and if you uh, don't identify with male and female, that's fine. Just see which, which uh, energy suits which person, okay? So one of you is very powerful, very aware, very self-aware, very good at manifesting new things, is bringing a new situation forward um, and is full of power. The other one, the male in the situation, is kind of cold, detached, um, unsure. So what I'm saying is this could be his current he this could be his perception of himself or or this could be his his perception of himself depending on which way around it is um but what i do see is that there are issues around this king of swords so if it's him he feels very defensive he feels very cut off he feels like he has to protect himself like he's worried he's suspicious with the seven of swords he's not sure what's going on He's not sure what's happening. He feels defensive. He feels uncertain. Um, this Empress energy is in full flow. This Empress energy is manifesting and having new beginnings and doing really well. There's all this manifestation energy around the Empress. So this is most likely you. So this person's got all this positive energy around them. They're manifesting, manifesting. This could be an indicator of a very successful person, someone who's in their creative flow, someone who's abundant and doing really well. And the King of Swords is feeling cold, shut down, could almost be being manipulative or difficult because they feel maybe overshadowed or, or outdone by the Empress energy. Um, I feel like uh, they, so I'm assuming this is you and this is them. What I'm seeing is, is that they feel like they can't match up to you, like you are uh, going places without them and that you are making them jealous, envious, um, worried about that. Uh, because I feel like all of this new beginning energy, starting something that can be very successful, that can bring money or abundance of some sort, that you are the magician, you are the manifester, and he feels um, cold and annoyed and detached. And just watch out for this though, because um, this sort of jealous, cold behavior can bring out the worst in a person, can make them a jealous person who feels detached, can say or do things that they don't really mean, but because they feel um, jealous or, or inferior in relation to this other person. So I feel like this person feels inferior to you. It's possible for a few of you. This is why I'm just taking my time to talk about it because I think for a few of you, it's the other way around. This is you and this is them. So they feel very empowered, very positive. They feel that you are detached or cold or that you um, are suspicious or envious or jealous or you're behaving in a way that makes them feel suspicious of you or makes them feel not very connected to you because they're feeling really abundant and you seem kind of pinched off so it, I think it's most likely that this is them and this is you um, and that they see you really well but actually it's making them jealous or feel inferior to you so I know it's a little bit of a complicated one group two but I think for a lot of you, this is going to answer the question as to why a certain thing is happening. Okay, and for the majority of you, I think it's this person is threatened by you, jealous of you, envious. Even if they love you, in inverted commas, or there's a romantic attachment, it's like the power balance is off. You are too powerful for them. They feel weak compared to you or something like this. I hope this makes sense. Loads of love. I'll see you on the next reading or on a private reading. In the meantime, see you soon. Hi, group three, how are you doing? So, his current thoughts or her current thoughts, queen of coins, knight of coins, five of wands, five of swords, six of wands, three of coins. So this person 
um, is I feel like this is not this is you. This is them. Queen of coins, knight of coins. So it could be the other way around, but I think it's most likely this way around. So the point is, is that whoever is the female in the situation is is more powerful than the the knight than the male in the situation. So this has a little bit of a resonance with group two. So if you chose both, that's why. Um, but I don't necessarily feel like uh, this is bad. Uh, in the other reading, I felt like uh, the other group, I felt like it was making the, the male energy feel threatened. Here, I don't think so. What it's saying is, is that this person, I feel like this is a genuine relationship that there's been a lot of honesty between you lately or a lot of connection you're on the same sort of page because you're both coins so you're looking at the practicalities of a situation or he is thinking or she is thinking about the practicalities of a situation and it's they're thinking about it from a real life point of view it's not a fantasy it's not up in the air it's it's really looking at the practicalities of the situation the problem is there are a lot of things in the way there are a lot of niggly problems. Things aren't quite working out. There could be some arguments or some disagreements. This It's difficult to get things to flow. We've got this double five here. He or she is feeling like there needs to be a change or a transformation. Things need to change, but it's not changing very easily. The good news is, is that I feel like this person is looking to move on. The six of, coin, uh, six of wands is coming. And so this is believe and succeed. This is feeling like they overcome the situation. This person wants to overcome the problems. This person wants to overcome. They want to reach out. They want to connect with you. Three of coins. They want to work with you to create a better situation with you. I feel like they're probably the knight of coins, but it doesn't matter which one they are. Whichever one they are, I feel like you can believe that they're being genuine with you i think they are being genuine with you they do want to reach out to you they do want to, uh, to um they are telling you the truth basically um i mean obviously that's not the case for every single one of you because it's a general reading but an intuitive read um for a big group so we can't be sure but for the majority of you this person is genuine um they may feel a little bit intimidated by you or a little bit uh, like you know what you're doing more than they do. You may be finding this frustrating with them because they may be struggling to get where they need to be mentally or emotionally with the situation. You may feel like you're a bit more mature or more advanced than them, but they do want to resolve it. They do acknowledge that there are quite a few problems, but they want to get past them. They want to succeed and take things forward and they are wanting to reach out to you and allow you to help them they want you to help them so this is a good situation it's a positive uh group to end on so very good guys i hope you have an amazing week uh, and weekend loads of love and i'll see you on the next reading or on a private reading in the meantime see you soon